Okay, we'll call our July 16th meeting of the Cooper City Council to order. So we have a roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Here. Councilman Miller? Here. Mayor Shelton? Here. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Here. Councilman Walker? Here. All present. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite those that wish to do so. Stand for the invocation. Give the night by Pastor Jonathan Nell of the Covenant Church, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States flag. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your loving care. Lord, we thank you for your boundless mercy. We thank you for the freedom to gather in this place and for this very moment to focus our thoughts upon you. Lord, we acknowledge your absolute power. We acknowledge our total dependence upon you, upon your grace. Lord, I pray for the city council to be guided by your Holy Spirit in this and every meeting as they seek your will, as they submit their personal preferences to the common good. Lord, we thank you for placing these people in these positions for such a time as this. We pray that you will guide them, that you will protect them, that you will direct them to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm pleased to consider approval of the agenda as presented. Are there any changes? Both sides. No changes to the motion. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Uh, uh, roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Yes. Five yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, 4A, consider appointment of the Environmental Appeals Board, Greg Brown. Mayor and Council, uh, Jim Hall's term on the Environmental Appeals Board is uh, expiring. Eric Cherry has agreed to serve a five-year term. Uh, on Thank you. Is there a motion for Eric Cherry for the Environmental Appeals Board? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carries. Second. Under old business, 5A, consider approval of minutes of council meeting held on July 2nd. Is there a motion? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There. Motion carried. Thank you. 5B, consider on second and final reading ordinance 020612, rezoning of approximately 4.86 acres portion of tax map 67A group L parcel 40 from CR Regional Commercial to RD single family and Uplex residential. John Ward. Thank you, Mayor and Council members. There have been no changes to the ordinance since first reading. We've had no calls or comments regarding the ordinance and I recommend your approval on second and final reading. Thank you. Is there a motion? Second. Second. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Uh, roll call on this list. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes votes. Motion carried. Thank you. 5C. Consider on second and final reading. Ordinance O-200613. Request to close abandoned and declare a surplus property a portion of undeveloped Poplar Avenue right away. John Ward. Thank you, Mayor and Council members. Once again, there are no changes to the ordinance since first reading. There have been no calls or comments regarding the ordinance, and I uh, ask for your approval on second and final reading. Thank you. Is there a motion? So <coughs> Motion, second. Motion and a second. Any discussion from the council? A roll call, please, sir. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carried. Thank you. Under the consent agenda, 6A, consider awarding bids for wire and cable for the electric department. And 6B, consider declaring a surplus vehicles, equipment, and miscellaneous items for various departments. Uh, both those uh, itemized are in our book. A motion on the consent agenda. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? That's just all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Five yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Under new business. Seven eight. Consider resolution R two zero zero seven one three amending the personnel policies and procedures manual. Carl Phelps. Thank you, Mayor. 
Mayor, Council, this evening I'm presenting for your consideration Resolution R-200713, which as the Mayor suggested, is recommending changes to the City's personnel policies and procedures, and specifically Chapter 5, which is Code of Conduct. This resolution authorizes two changes. The first is that it simply adds the word property to the current Title Section 4. The new title will read Use of City Time, Property, Facilities, etc. The second change is that it adds Part 4.03 to Section 4. Part 4.03 will read No decal, emblem, flag, insignia, or similar item shall be affixed to any city of Cookville property, including buildings, vehicles, equipment, or uniforms unless authorized by the department director and approved by the city manager. Approved items include City of Cookville Department badges and logos and the flags of the United States and State of Tennessee. If you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them now, but absent any, I'm respectfully requesting your approval. Thank you, sir. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. A motion and second. Any discussion from the council? Uh, roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carries. Thank you. Six and two. Uh, sorry, seven B, consider resolution R200714, initial resolution authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $19 million in general obligation bonds of Cooper, Tennessee, Ms. Emil. Mayor and council members, this resolution before you this evening represents the first step in the process to issue general obligation bonds. This is the initial resolution authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $19 million in bonds. After the adoption of this resolution, we will publish the required public notice. The intended projects that the proceeds of the bonds will be used for are for the purchase of two fire trucks, an aerial truck and a rescue pumper, and the construction of our new police facility. However, if you look at the second paragraph of the resolution, you can see it is written to allow flexibility if the project do not materialize as intended. Um, your final approval will still be required before the bonds are able to be sold and issued. The more detailed resolution will set forth all the provisions of the bond and give the mayor authority to execute all the documents. We will have that available for your approval in the August meeting, along with other bond-related items. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have that request your approval of this initial resolution. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion to have a second. Motion and a second. Any <coughs> questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five uh, yes, motion carries. Thank you. 7C, consider accepting the direct appropriation grant of $780,438 from the state of Tennessee for the city of Cooper with no matching fund requirement. Ms. Emily. Uh, Mayor and council members, the state of Tennessee budget for fiscal year 2021 included direct appropriation grants to local government. The have allocation at $780,438. As you said, Mayor, the grant has no matching requirements. Our planned use of the funds is toward public safety equipment and capital items to include the purchase of police vehicles and defibrillators for the fire department. I would recommend your acceptance of the grant amount of $780,438 from the state of Tennessee. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Right. Five yes, motion carries. Thank you. Seven D. Consider approval to purchase five Soul X Series monitor defibrillators, sole source provider, chief data for the fire department. Mayor and council members, we're requesting to purchase five Zoll X Series monitor defibrillators for the amount of $148,631.75 from Zoll Corporation. This is a sole source of equipment. The monitor defibrillators we are requesting meets our specifications and we feel this is the best option for our department to meet our current and future needs for patient care. The X-Series monitor is the only monitor with the following capabilities. Direct compatibility and integration with Putnam County EMS and Cooper Regional Medical Center, whom both use those monitors. This is a budgeted item and we respectfully request your approval. Thank you, sir. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion and a second. 
Any uh, questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carried. Thank you. 7E, consider approval to purchase one self-contained breathing apparatus, compressor utilizing the HGAC by Cooperative Purchasing Program. Chief Blair. Mayor and Council members, we are requesting to purchase one new SCBA compressor for the amount of $48,510.98 from NAPCO utilizing the HGAC by Cooperative <coughs> Program. The new compressor we are requesting meets our specifications and we feel this is the best option for our department to meet our current and future needs for this type of equipment requested. This is a budget item and we respectfully request your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Motion and a second. Any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carried. Thank you. Set Thank out, you. consider approval of a one year contract extension with retail strategies for retail development marketing and consulting services. Uh, Melinda Keeper. Mayor and Council, I bring to you a request to extend for 12 months our contract services with retail strategies. We've been with this company for almost, this will be our fifth year, I believe. Retail Strategies provides research, data, and marketing, local outreach, recruitment. Um, on our behalf um, with national brands and also locally. Um, the price of the annual contract is $25,000. It is a budgeted item, and I respectfully request your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second motion and second. Any questions from the council? Hi, Mayor. Yes. Um, this is a great thing. $25,000 for what they do for us. I forgot, was it $700,000 in need to sell tax revenue? They represent us in places our budget doesn't afford for us to go to the national. Of course, this year's is going to be a little different with everybody, but um, even the virtual meetings, they'll be perfectly fine. Any other comments or questions? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carries. Thank you. 7G, consider approval to purchase pump for water trucks, sole source provider, public works department, Greg Brown. Mayor Council, our uh, pump on our 1993 water truck recently went out. Due to the age of the truck, we just could find one supplier that had a pump that would fit it. Uh, the price, including shipping, is $16,240. Uh, this is the truck we use to blow out culverts when they get stopped up. We're able to recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carried. Thank you. 7H, consider awarding bid for stormwater structures for the North Cedar Avenue Cityscape Project. Greg Brown. Mayor Council, we recently bid out the stormwater structures for the North uh, Cedar Cityscape Project. The low bidder was Portline Waterworks for $16,190.35. I recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Got a motion to have a second. 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 Motion and second. Do we have any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes. Motion carries. Motion seven I consider approval to purchase three pre owned vehicles for the police department. Chief Evans. Mayor and Council, uh, we're requesting to purchase three pre owned vehicles for our uh, Criminal Investigation Division. Uh, we shopped these through uh, several local dealers and we've selected three from the Port of Cookville. The total purchase price is $50,000. It is a budgeted item uh, out of our drug fund. We recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion and second. Any questions from the Council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. 
Duffman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carries. Thank you. 7J, consider approval of change order number one on the 2020 Willow Avenue CIPP project for water quality control department, Ronnie Kelly. Uh, Mayor, Council, John T. Hall Construction is currently under contract for a sewer line repair, repair and placement project on Willow Avenue. Uh, the project was bid with estimated quantities. After they did it, the initial TV work was completed and reviewed by our staff. We determined we needed extra uh, laterals and some lines to be repaired in that project. We needed to add those per the bid items. Uh, that add would be $30,633.18. We also found a section of line that's 18 feet deep while we were looking for the lateral there for the new Holiday Inn. Uh, that line there, that location is 18 feet deep. There's an electric pole there right beside it. And it's something we're not set up currently in-house to do that. So we've uh, negotiated a, a price with the Willow Avenue project uh, contractor and negotiated a change order for them to do that repair for us at for 62000 The total cost of change order number one would be $92,633.13, and I would recommend approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Right. Motion and second. Any questions? Okay. Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carries. Thank you. Seven K for new authorizing the city manager to execute architectural engineering contract amendment with ADG to include third floor completion of the police department headquarters. Chief Ed. Uh, Mayor Castle, as you know, uh, at the direction of council, we were asked to put the possibility of building in our third floor uh, on our new facility. Uh, we approached uh, our architects, uh, architectural design group, ADG, and asked for a proposal, uh, so they submitted that to us this week. Uh, this amends the original contract signed with them back, back on April 30th, 2018. It provides for architectural engineering services needed to design the completion of the third floor. Uh, the architectural interior design cost is 12400 uh, The uh, MVP and FP engineering, which is the electrical and the HVAC, uh, and plumbing would be 10450 And then the structural engineering is 4125 And for a total professional fee of $26,975. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Councilman Womack? Yes. Councilman Miller? Aye. Mayor Shelton? Yes. Vice Mayor Wheaton? Aye. Councilman Walker? Aye. Five yes, motion carried. Thank you. That's the Does the council or anybody from the council have any comments? We're adjourned. <laughs>